A $25 million agreement that will allow spent nuclear fuel to be removed from Serbia and returned to Russia was signed this week at the IAEA's General Conference. The irradiated fuel looks similar to this but is highly radioactive. For decades, about two and a half tons of these elements have been sitting at the Vincher Institute of Nuclear Sciences, each containing a radioactive cocktail of plutonium and enriched uranium. We have had a lot of concern from a safety perspective, from a security perspective. It's a large undertaking. It, uh, you know, it, it, it's about $25 million to remove the spent fuel to Russia for, for reprocessing. We got rid, rid of the negative legacy, and we are now opening a new chapter when we can work together in using nuclear energy in a very constructive way for economic and social development in Serbia, in all areas from power generation to health, medicine, agriculture. The fuel once powered this nuclear research reactor, which was shut down in 1984. Now it can be returned to Russia, which supplied the fuel during Soviet times. There's really a very wide front uh, helping in the heart of Europe to make sure that there are no nuclear terrorism threats and also that there are no environmental threats because Vincha is only a few kilometers away from Belgrade and from the Danube. For more than two decades, the radioactive waste was left to cool in a pool of water beneath the floor. The elements have corroded and leached radiation into the water. By signing this contract, the fuel can now be repackaged with plans to return it to Russia in 2010. It's not only important from the actual work that will be accomplished as a result of, of the signing, but more importantly, symbolically, it's a recognition of what can be done when countries work together for the common good of non-proliferation. The IAEA spearheaded the project with Serbia to secure and clean up the site. Funded by Serbia, the Nuclear Threat Initiative, the Czech Republic, USA, Russia and the European Union. We expect, of course, that the Western Balkans and Serbia will become members of the European Union at some point. And we, we would like to help to see that they can enter the European Union with as little problems as possible also in this area. And, and this particular installation was a problem and this fuel was a problem and we're happy to get rid of it. This week's signing will make that a reality and finally strip Vincha of its irradiated fuel.